Welcome to another episode of Around Town. I'm San Clemente City Council member Lori Donchek and I'm particularly excited today because we're going to be spending this episode with the RSVPs that you know as the retired senior volunteer police arm of the Orange County Sheriff's Department right here in San Clemente. You've seen these folks out and around the community. They, they serve an important function in that they free up the Orange County Sheriff's Department to pursue preventative crime and other high level safety needs in the community. So let's take a look around town and see how these dedicated volunteers make a difference, a positive difference in all of our lives. Senator David Moody, uh, you are responsible for our incredible public safety record. We're one of the 100 safest cities in the United States. We yes. thank you for that. Um, we're here today to talk about the RSVPs and hear your view on the partnership that OCSD has with this important group in town. So can you talk a little bit about what this volunteer group does to make your life better? Sure, absolutely. You know, the RSVPs have been a part of police services for over 28 years, and they're a really vital part of what we do on a daily basis. If we didn't have the RSVPs in place, we wouldn't be able to do things like vacation checks, you know, to the level that we can. We wouldn't be able to put the radar trailer out to keep citizens safe and their speeds down. We wouldn't be able to reach out to the community like they do at our, our packed house at the pier, you know, that's just the, the partnership with police and the community together, that's what PAC stands for. We wouldn't be able to, to reach out to the kids through the GRIP program, which is our gang reduction interdiction program, you know, because they help out with after school homework and mentor these kids. They just, just such a host of, uh, of uh, different venues that they help us out with on a daily basis. And I guess it would culminate with all the, the special events that we do throughout the year. If we didn't have them as a part of all of our special events, we wouldn't be able to do half the things that we're able to do. So, so they're a very, very vital part of, of our program. And then the other thing you were saying before, uh, that they have been a long-standing fixture in the community. So right, um, how right. many years would you guess we've had an RSVP? About tw 30 years now running. I mean, it's one of the oldest RSVPs, if not the oldest in the county that we have. Um, so they've, they've been a part of it for a long time. We would hope that they would continue to be a part of us because, um, again, we're, we're able to do so much more with them being uh, together with us and, and accomplishing all of our goals. One of the many functions of the RSVP group is to monitor the parking in the downtown area. We monitor both the two and three hour parking locations. The city has asked us to do that to ensure that there's parking available for potential customers, especially in the Del Mar and El Camino area. The reason I got involved with the RSVP program is years ago I used to vacation here with friends. I always thought San Clemente was a great town and I'd like to move here once I retired. I moved here a few years ago and thought it was a great opportunity to not only give back to my community, but to get to know a little bit about the city of San Clemente. As with any excellent organization, you need good leadership to make sure it thrives. Jim Getz, who I'm speaking to today, has had the responsibility for the last two years of being the project coordinator for the RSVPs, which is their leadership as a group of volunteers. So Jim, thank you. I know that requires a lot of heavy lifting. And uh, it also, um, you're the perfect person to explain a little bit about uh, the workforce, how many RSVPs you have, uh, what the cost savings is to the, com uh, the community, and anything that you think we should know. Uh, we've been able to give approximately uh, $18,000 worth of savings per month to the city based on the number of hours we work in support of city functions. Uh, over the uh, years we've been keeping statistics, that's close to $6 million worth of savings. Uh, the personnel here are varying ages from uh, 57 to 94, and we have experiences, people who are experienced in several different uh, types of backgrounds, and it's been a real joy for me to work with these people. And the savings, it's very important to point out that um, there's kind of two pieces to the savings. One is the dollar savings, but also you're freeing up the um, officers to do kind of their highest and best work in terms of anything criminally related. Is that correct? That's correct. Uh, for example, uh, many of our, uh, our special events, these officers might be used on overtime, which is about $67 an hour. And uh, we save that because we're there, so we're saving the city that $67 an hour worth of overtime money they'd have to have a deputy for. Uh, we find that uh, supporting the Sheriff's Department in the city has been extremely rewarding for most of us and, and uh, I can't think of any better way to volunteer for people in the city who want to give back to the city. 
And how long have you been an RSVP? I've been an RSVP now for five years, and I've been coordinator now for two years. So if um, someone in the community is watching, what would you encourage them to do if they're interested in those uh, possible positions? Do you take just anyone who applies? Well, we like to keep uh, we like to keep it at the 55 and older level because most of those people have availability. Uh, we'd like to have them be physically fit. We have a medical release we ask of them uh, that they have to have signed by their doctor. They must be able to get in and out of a vehicle about 30, 40 times a day. Uh, they must be able to walk this trail and that pier. And so we expect them to be in pretty good physical shape. So yeah, we may be asking a lot, but we found a lot of these people have been more than happy to to uh, join the organization because they feel this gives them an opportunity to have exercise and to be out in the public. And uh, so it's been good. And do you have a favorite story in your years? Uh, down here at the Pack House, we have the ability to uh, be first responders in some cases for people who have uh, sting, stingray, bite, stingray stings or, or falls. And we notify uh, marine safety. And in many cases, it's been very good. We had one woman who was so happy with our response that she demanded that the person I was with and myself have, she takes us to lunch. She wanted oh. to take us to lunch. <laughs> so it's been very good. You get a lot of people down here who say thank you for your service. And believe me, for us, that's appreciated. I'm here with Jill Martin. Hi, Jill, how are you? Very good, Lori, okay. thank you. Jill is another seasoned RSVP. She has been a volunteer for San Clemente for over 10 years. Thank you for that. And we wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, when someone goes on vacation and they want to have their house looked at to make sure nothing unusual is going on. So can you talk about that uh, role that an RSVP performs? Yes, uh, they call and we'll take all the information. Uh, we have a card that we're guided by. Um, we get the information, they get the dates. Then we come and check as you've seen the van pull up. We look for open doors, open windows. We make sure that we push on the doors to secure, to make sure they're secure. Any trampled plants, any visual sign of disturbance. If we do come across that, we will contact a deputy for assistance and brief the deputy when he gets here and probably one or more will show up and check the house thoroughly. Uh, if there is something that's askew, they will contact the owner. And um, this is a very interesting um, benefit for our residents. Um, do they have to pay for this? This is totally free to any resident in San Clemente. We are happy to do it. Uh, it's just very rewarding that they feel safe that when they're gone. Okay, and so if we put the phone number at the bottom of the screen, um, that would be the first step for somebody learning how to make sure they could have an RSVP check-in at their home? Yes, definitely. Okay, so Jill, you've been doing this for 10 years. You were our volunteer of the year last year. If other like-minded souls wanted to become an RSVP, how would they go about doing that? We have a flyer that's down at the packed house. We also have information on the city website, san-clemente.org. We require in the winter three six-hour workdays and in the summer four six-hour workdays in addition to our attending our monthly meeting and we have various uh, city special events and we like that they also volunteer for that okay. and um, this is a, a chick question the uniforms can you talk a little bit about the RSVP uniforms? some of you have white shirts some of you have blue shirts this is our Class A uniform. We wear this to all formal occasions. When Sheriff Hutchins comes down, we wear our Class A uniform. Um, anytime we go to memorial services, we wear our Class A uniform. Our pictures are in our Class A uniform. And then we have our summer uniforms, which are the white polos and either long pants or shorts and tennis shoes. And then we have our B uniform, which is the white polo, and long pants and black shoes. I'm a volunteer member of the uh, police force and one of the duties I have is at the front desk here. And the front desk is, might be considered like a customer service operation in any commercial operation where we deal directly with people having complaints. These come in various forms, put complaints, requests, uh, questions. They come in various forms by telephone, by mail and by people walking in. The people walking in usually have 
a need for a police report, be it traffic report or an investigation, or uh, they have a uh, request for a deputy, in which case we will have them use the phone here if they want to be uh, privately talking to dispatch or there's a phone inside, the same phone, it's a direct line to dispatch. One of the other things we do is keep track of crime in a statistical fashion with data we receive from the Sheriff's Department. On maps in the office, we keep track of the commercial, vehicle, and residential burglaries and stolen vehicles. Um, what you just described is a very technical job responsibility. How do you get trained to make sure you're doing your job to the best possible level? When uh, I started working on the front desk, we, we had more staff, and that staff was able to spend some time with us as people came through the door to help us in dealing with their issues or on the phone. That staff now is a uh, little bit less, so we who have enjoyed that experience with the help that we had previously now are taking over the training and we are working with our new people that want to work on the front desk. We work with them to train them because our main job on a perfect day for the ladies that work in the records area is they don't have to answer a phone or get disrupted. That's a perfect day for them and that's our job to keep them uh, occupied on what they do on the computers. So let me ask you a different question. You got involved 11 years ago. Um, if someone wanted to get involved in the RSVP program now, what would you say to them if they're watching this episode? Well, I would uh, share with them my experiences that when you get into a volunteer group like this, you get an entirely different and enlightening view of what goes on in law enforcement and certainly in our city, but in any city in general. As we've learned today, the RSVPs have an assortment of activities that they um, perform and responsibilities around the city. We're now at the Packed House, and John, who has been an RSVP for eight years, uh, this is kind of his core competency. So he's <laughs> gonna tell us a little bit about what goes on here at the base of the pier. Um, we're down here uh, usually every weekend, all year long and uh, somebody's down here in the summer during the week also. Okay, our main duty down here uh, is public relations for people, that, for the community and for people come in from all over the world. And we have our boards down here. You can see that we pass off material to people. They ask questions. Um, we also patrol the pier to make sure everything's going okay. And we patrol the trail on both ends. Uh, to, to make sure everything's going okay too. We have some rules which are posted on our signs when people come in and also here. Uh, no dogs on the pier, no, no dogs on the beach, no smoking on this side of the railroad tracks. And uh, we pass out the brochures and we also um, monitor the trains when they come in, uh, which means when the gates go down, they come in, we walk up there and make sure nobody's well, I want to tell you as a council member, the uh, train safety that you provide is hugely important because we're part of a quiet zone and this is on, you can probably tell us a little bit about what 4th of July is like down here. 4th well, of July is, is, is pretty hectic. Uh, on the weekends we have, uh, if it's on the weekends, we have six extra trains from Metrolink that come every weekend now also. And uh, it's, it, we have more people down here, usually it's two people down here, but with special events. Fourth of July and the Ocean Fest, we'll have maybe five or six people down here. Just making sure, helping out the officers, the deputies to make sure everything's going okay. And if, if we do have a problem, uh, the lifeguards really help us, uh, which is very important down here. And in my eight years, I'd never had to call a deputy to come down and do anything. Usually we can take care of whatever is needed down here by ourselves. Terry, thank you for joining us here at the base of the pier. So you have been an RSVP for a little less than a year, yet you are known in the community as somebody who is very generous with your time and your philanthropy. What caused you to decide to become an RSVP at this point? Well, I'm a San Clemente resident for over 30 years, and I wanted to, I do a lot of community work, I wanted to find a passion in the city where I could contribute and give back to the city and the beach I live in. Uh, RSVP 
They do fantastic work for the city. They, they're ambassadors. We are senior ambassadors for the city. And we drive in the car, we learn driving skills, they do heavy background check. We work in the office with the city. Uh, we do Yana, which is working with the seniors. We work with children in the tutoring. We work at the beautiful beach at the pack house, and we get a lot of exercise when we work down here. Bob has kind of an interesting story as to how he got involved with the RSVPs. You've been one for just about a year. Yes, and uh, tell me again a little bit about how you decided this was a good thing to do in retirement. Well, about eight months ago, my car got broken into and I met two deputy sheriffs that came by the house and uh, we were talking. I recently retired and they basically said that this RSV program was a good program because I wanted to get involved with the community. I wanted to have an action plan so other people wouldn't do what I went through and uh, just help the law enforcement so we have a safer community. So. And you mentioned that in addition to the pack house, which is why we're at the pier, you do patrol. What's yeah. involved with that? Uh, patrol, we do the two hour parking, uh, the uh, tags, expired license tags, and um, just make sure people are, you know, we're service to the community if they have any questions, basically. Many of you may recognize Lou Lito. He's one of the biggest San Clemente community boosters in the city, and he's also an RSVP. And Lou, I'm wondering, how did you learn about the RSVP program? Because I know you've been involved for two years. I've seen you on Del Mar. Uh, doing what RSVPs do, but how did you hear about the program? Well, good question, Lori. Uh, both through the Leadership San Kamini courses where we touched upon that, and uh, then I attended the uh, Citizens Academy, which was more tailored to learning more about law enforcement in total. Uh, I traveled frequently and I have called the Sheriff's Department before to have them do a vacation home check. And so I had no idea that it was the RSVP group that uh, actually does the, them. So I do a lot of volunteer work. I thought there's a kind of an inspiration for me. Maybe I should get involved with RSVP as well. And I do see you quite a bit on Avenida Del Mar doing the enforcing the uh, parking. You want to talk a little bit about that? Well, that's a request by the Downtown Business Association. It is two hour free parking. Uh, there is a cushion in there as well. Uh, the merchants want to have rotation of those parking spots versus people who park up there and walk down to the beach all day. Uh, obviously those are for customers, so you know they feel that within two hours they can do their shopping, do their dining, get most things done. So uh, by their encouragement we do mark uh, vehicles and then we come back and uh, after two hours we might write citations for that as well. Some of the other duties that RSVP is involved with is our YANA program, Y-A-N-A, -A, stands for You Are Not Alone. And that's a great service we provide to the community for elders that are living alone, don't have anyone nearby, pretty much are immobile, don't get out much, and we, uh, as a pair, visit them once a week, check on their well-being, and uh, just visit with them. We don't perform any other duties for them, we don't run any errands, but it's a, it's a really rewarding program to meet some of the individuals within our community that we may be the only visit that they have all week. Another program is the GRIP program, the Gang Reduction Intervention Program, and that is targeted to at-risk students in middle schools, and it's uh, in conjunction with the Orange County District Attorney's Office as well as the Orange County Sheriff's Department, we provide the service of mentors in more or less the environment of a homework club where we'll go in in uniform to reflect that our community uh, and law enforcement, there's a lot of good people that do things and it might keep them on a path that they choose to, uh, to go down rather than join a gang. And in, in closing, what I'd like to do is thank you because you were the one that actually approached the city and suggested the RSVPs as an around town topic. And clearly there's a lot to see. So it's a, gonna be a very successful episode. So thank you for the idea. You're, wel you're welcome. There's a lot of story to tell. We're looking for some uh, good volunteers as well. We have a couple of slots that are open and what better way to get the message out to kind of show and see what we do rather than just catch us by happenstance on one small uh, activity we might be doing. Okay. 
I'm sure you share my pride in living in one of the safest cities in the United States. And because crime prevention is so important and our police can't be everywhere, groups like the RSVP make a huge and positive difference in our community. If you think you'd like to be an RSVP, please call the city at the number shown on the screen here and uh, learn what's involved. It's a very rewarding job, and as you can see by this episode of Around Town, it makes a difference. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you around town.